have been focusing on the aero allergen study almost uh, for the last 15 years in the Texas Panhandle area on the top of Texas map. If you look at over there, uh, we have highest concentration of uh, allergy and asthma cases in 2007 it became doubled um, in the state of, uh, than the state of Texas. So we have been looking at different types of aeroallergen and characterizing them uh, like the pollen and also different types of fungal spores. We isolated uh, using a, a machine called Barkard spore trap that was purchased from England. And what it does, it uh, rotates the drum in 24 hours and it collects all kinds of aeroallergen. After staining with safranin, you can observe that under a microscope and using the digital camera attached to that DP70 digital camera, we can take the picture. So uh, besides that, uh, many of my um, other researchers, collaborators, they worked with uh, other areas like isolation and observation on various types of pollen grains of different plant families. And as you can see here, uh, we are looking at different types of um, pollen grains starting from Bellis perennis of Asteraceae, Hibiscus rosa sinensis, that common uh, China rose, then Lilium in Liliaceae. And they have uh, different types of nature, like heterobrochette nature. You can see the spikes. You can see the triculpate nature of the pollen. All these you can isolate and observe by which you can characterize the plant families. We also observed uh, most of other aeroallergens, uh, starting from ragweed. Uh, we looked at other different types of species, like chenopodium and also different species of pines. We observed various types of uh, aeroallergens, other types like fungal spores. As you can see, the um, alternaria pollen, then cladosporium, you can see carvularia and uh, various other types of tilutospores in the air, uh, different times of the year based on what uh, we are harvesting um, based on the crops. So next part of this research was carried out with the collaboration with Dr. Jeff Bennett, uh, where basically we developed a technology called advanced hydrated photocatalytic oxidation. In brief, we called it AHPCO technology. This technology is basically used to clean up your air without any air purifier. That is the unique uh, thing about uh, that kind of air purifier. We don't use any kind of filter. And in that machine, basically, we produce negative ions that will uh, basically um, de in inactivate all kinds of spores and aeroallergens and clean up your air. And we also check the quality and uh, how it can clean up. And you can see this is without any air purifier. After running the air purifier for 72 hours, and finally after running the air purifier for 120 hours, uh, you can see the colonies of the spores um, from the fungal spores and bacterial spores, those, those have been reduced. Recently, we also checked that it reduces volatile organic compounds and also uh, it does not harm to the human cells or any other types of cells in culture. So um, we found even within an hour there is gradual reduction of volatile organic compounds um, which you will find in a room and thereby reducing the smell including the smell of smoking tobacco. So we have been working on that and we also uh, have been recording the aeroallergen index of the panhandle.